We have to start by turning the water off, both hot and cold. With these shutoffs that are right handy. I want to be sure they hold. So I open the faucet. Good. Now we need to break the connections on the back. There's a couple of nuts on the back which make the watertight connection. I'm using an open-ended wrench called a crescent wrench. You'll notice that there are no teeth, so I won't mar the finish. All right, so these two connections are the watertight connections. And there's also two nuts which hold the faucet onto the tub itself called lock nuts. And now I just loosen them. Okay, and that faucet goes away. Amy, I have dry fitted together your new tub and shower assembly. What do you think? Oh, it's gorgeous, cool? Richard. Look down the bottom, you can see the hot and the cold faucets. Now you come up to the first choice is the tub filler. Terrific. Now the water continues up through this pipe to a T. And you have a choice to go over to a hand shower. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Or it can continue up through a beautiful shower head. Now we just need to disassemble this unit and install your faucet. All right, Amy, and a little bit of putty right here on the back side of these escutcheons. I want to make a watertight seal between the faucet and the tub itself. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to put these lock nuts on the back. And as I do, the putty will squeeze out. Okay. All right, that's hand tight on the hot side. And now the cold. Okay, and now we just need to tighten up our compression nuts. And again, use the crescent wrench. All right, our base faucet is installed, and now we need to assemble the riser. Now, that's a series of threaded connections that need to have some Teflon tape applied. So, why don't you right around there? Okay, now we're going to pull it tight and snap it off. Good. Okay. Okay, that's straight. You just pass me that riser. Okay. Thread that in. The riser is in place. Now we need to stabilize it to the building. The manufacturer provides us with a wall support that we need to cut to length. And before I do, I want to make sure that this riser is plumb. So I apply a level. Amy, just grab that magic marker and put a mark on that wall support where it intersects the riser. Good. Thank you. To cut the wall support to length, I'm going to use a tubing cutter. Line it up on the mark. Okay. Good. Our wall support ties into the riser with this set screw that I just need to tighten. The manufacturer makes a shower curtain rod to fit a five foot tub and a full height ceiling. And I have a five foot tub, but I don't have a full height That's ceiling. That's right. This, this roof angle is really crowding us. So the way this goes together is my half of the oval goes up here against this bracket tied onto the riser. Now look how close it is to that roof angle. So what we're going to have to do is modify or cut your half. That's going to be a tight fit. Absolutely. Now we need to shorten this oval about as much as is possible to fit into that opening. But there's a limit to how small we can make it. And that's determined by where this bend begins. Because there's a straight coupling that has to fit inside the curtain rod. But we can't fit the straight coupling into the curve. And that's about as small as we can make it and that's where we're going to make the cut. Using a tubing cutter. Now the tubing cutter slightly deformed that pipe, so to bring it back to its original round, I'm going to use a reamer and just expand that pipe to its original shape. Good. All right, we've shortened up our oval, and I've got that connected into this bracket right here that's connected to the riser. Now what I want you to do is to hold that bar up and put it right into this bracket, which I've secured into a roof rafter. Now I'm just going to snug that up. Let me just get the other one. Okay, so we've got it secured in two points, and now I have to add one wall support on the back so I can secure it so it doesn't tip. Now, there was no structure where I wanted this bracket to be, so I'm using hollow wall sleeves. And they just fit into the holes I drilled, they expand. All right, and then now I just screw the bracket into those.
All right, Amy, your new shower head's in place. Oh, that's terrific. The shower curtains are done. All right, time to fire it up. Let's close up the curtain. Oh, this is exciting. Your new shower. Mm -hmm.